Mr. Annoying. Ain't that right? Yep. Future Mrs. Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I'll give it to you. Oh, gosh, you're an idiot. Hello, my delicious chocolate mousse. Mmm, chocolate mousse. Yum. I'm thinking about it. We're starting off the episode with the case coda from, for the last case. Sad Shady. Poor Shady didn't realise the notes he was collecting were from the bank at first. Then a series of mis misfortunate misfortunes, there we go, I thought I was going to say a series of mis misfortunate mm. events, um, <laughs> had him wondering if he was jinxed. I mean, where did he think they were coming from? I don't know. You're Mr. Shady? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. You want to be the, the security guard? So that you don't have to speak oh, too much? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, you can do it. Yes, can I help? You don't look too happy. What's happened? Uh, lost your checkbook or something? No, nothing like that. I, well, the thing is, I've got some money near here. Then when I got home, I heard about what happened at the bank on the news. Oh yeah? The 100 million quid getting blown all over the city. Madness. Yes, well, I imagine these notes I found are probably part of that money. So you thought you'd bring them back and hand them in? Yes. Wow, Shady, that's really nice. That's the kind of honesty I'd like to see. Nice one. Well, the truth is, I was thinking of keeping the money for myself at first. But then things started going wrong for me. Like, I put salt in my coffee instead of sugar. And I stubbed my little toe on the chair oh, leg. Ow. And then I found out there was no toilet paper left. I just became really unlucky. No toilet paper! He used up all of his <laughs> luck. I started to think maybe it's karma, because I did something wrong, and I shouldn't have kept the money I found. <laughs> you really had a rough time of it, haven't you? But that's just coincidence. It's not going, uh, it's not going, no got nothing to do with you picking up uh, those banknotes. Sometimes stuff just happens to you for no reason. Uh, I suppose so. But anyway, here's everything that I found. I'm giving it all back. It's like one note. <laughs> Just here it is. <laughs> well, thanks. I'll look after this for now and make sure the boss gets it later. Thanks. Cheer up. You did a good deed. You should feel proud of yourself. Oh, this is just how I am. Don't worry. Mr. Shady. Oh. What? There's a hole in my trouser pocket. Oh, no. Oh, bad luck. Did you have any, uh, did you have anything in there? Hope uh, nothing's fallen out. The money. <laughs> the money. Um, wait. Oh no! What is it? My wallet! It was in here, but now it's gone. You must have fallen out. How big is that hole? This is so unfair. After I did the right thing and gave all the money back. I'm such an idiot. So we had the money in he the had one the money pocket in a and then the wallet in a different pocket, yeah. yeah. Oh, poor Shady. Okay, so we're going to be starting the next case... Uh, case 7? Yeah. The Power Mouse of Justice, Ratman. 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 Ratman has been rescuing the sales figures of London of the London Times, but now he's gone missing. Dun dun dun. Why are the sales figures? Oh. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'd like to do that again. Oh yes, and I changed my outfit. Don't I look glamorous? You look fantastic. I say. It's rather exciting to be here at the London Times office. I do enjoy it, you know. Uh, it's my favourite of all the London papers. Come on, pinstripes. Newspapers are all the same. That's lies. <laughs> That's lies. It some is of lies. them are shite, some of them aren't. I have seen a lot of shite <laughs> newspapers. Oh no, it's not that black and white at all, Shell. Sure. Obviously all the papers carry the mainstream news. That's more or less the same, I grant you. But the London Times has a fascinating extra articles and unusual pieces of local news. And celebrity gossip too. Yes, I agree with you, Ernest. It's not all just boring uh, news stories. There are lots of other interesting things uh, to read as well. I like it. Yes, stories like The Leviathan of London surfaces in the Thames and Shakespeare shaken up. Was William a wandering werewolf? Fascinating stuff. Hmm. The Leviathan of the, Thame of the Thames? Was, it, was, that what, was that what it was? Yep. That uh, article about st what? Oh, this is reminding me of the Leviathan from Dragon Quest. Oh. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Uh, that article about Stonehenge uh, being a UFO repair <laughs> shop was good too, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, sounds like a real bastion of intellect. Anyway, Pinstripes, who asked us to investigate this time? The chief editor, Shell, he called the office personally and asked us to come and discuss a case with him. Hmm. 
Did you hear that, Shell? The chief editor of the London Times. I can't. I can hardly imagine what um exotic case he might have lined up for us. Perhaps I want us to investigate an unidentified flying object that's been seen over the capital. Just think of it, Shell. I'm itching to get started. You sure it isn't fleas? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like you have. It's not like you have this much get up and go. She doesn't have enough up and go. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough when we meet the man, won't we? That's for morning times, though. It's just night now, so... Up and goes for any time. <laughs> up and goes for any time. Uh, yes, about that, Ernest. What are, uh, where exactly is this enormous building... Wait, where exactly in this eno enormous building is his office? Oh, um... Probably at the top? Sorry, I neglected to ask that. Probably at the top. I see. Well, we'll just have to ask someone then, I suppose. Ah, what luck. There's Doug Dirt over there. Look, our reporter friend. Doug Dirt. Excellent. I'll know for sure. Let's go and ask him. We don't like seeing Doug Dirt. We don't like seeing Doug Dirt because <laughs> of his what? Because of his accent? Where it's hard to replicate. It's fine. We just do our, we just gum butter at best. They said journalists never sleep. Perhaps um, if they turned the lights off, they'd have more luck. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I don't envy them having to work this late. Look, work at this late hour. Although. <laughs> Although. <laughs> you're working at the late hour. Ooh. So many stories you think are in the building, and how many stories? London Times that I was was fuzzing oh, out. Oh, I goodbye. I broke it. <laughs> so now it's the London it didn't, Times. It didn't even give me a hint coin. It was just it, oh, fuzz, fuzzies. Plastic <gasps> penguin. So cute. Oh, plush. Um, it didn't even give me a hint coin. That's weird. I thought I, I would have thought that is exactly what it would be. Where it would be. Anything else in this trash can? Is that a trash can? No, yeah. that's a Post box. Is it? Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. It might be a trash can. Mmm, <laughs> what a delicious smell. Sadly, it's coming from the restaurant next door. Having a restaurant de directly adjacent to the office must be a boon for the Ink Slingers. A boon. It's dinner time. All the new sounds are feeding. By the look of it, it smells good too. Mmm, dinner. Getting hungers. Hint coin. Hint coin. Ha boing. Let's talk to Douglas Dirt last because it's probably the most important one. Progress, correct? yeah. Yeah. Just think, this is where the London Times is crafted every single day. Even at this time of day, there are plenty of people come, uh, people busily coming and going, aren't there? Aren't there? I like these doors. They're nice and light. They don't squash my nose too much when I push them. I push them open. Oh, squish. Okay. Hello, uh, PC Beat. I think his name is. That's right. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. If it isn't Miss Layton and friends. I must say your timing is unpeckable. Unpeckable. <laughs> the inspector has seen it fit to set me a puzzle, but I haven't got the foggiest idea in London, uh, London town of how to how to solve it. Yeah, well, constable, I'm sure I can help you out with that. Any mystery solved is my motto, as you know. Well, if you'd be so kind as to pop on your tinkin hat and ponder in my place, it'd be much. I'd be much obliged, ma'am. My tinkin hat. Okay. Tinkin hat. Tink. It's on. You reckon it's a hat <laughs> kind of puzzle? Probably. Nope, document. Not document disaster. So it's all we pay for stuff, probably. People have been putting three-paged uh, documents on a desk, but a breeze has uh, blown them all over, all over the place. Incredibly, they landed in the same order they, as they were stacked, in the same order they were stacked. Uh, there were only three sheets on the desk when I left my papers. States documenti, <laughs> documenti. Um, oh, just meant or whatever. Uh. The picture shows the papers after they were scattered, but split up according to who they were, to who they belong to. So, which set of papers are the docs? Switch the screens. So, incredibly, they landed in the same order as they were stacked. Yeah. There were only three sheets on the desk when I left my papers. States the documenti. The picture shows the papers that the papers after they were scattered, but split up according to who they belong to. So, which set of papers? How on earth am I supposed to know that? His name starts with D. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that that, that could be like amazing could or, be anything. It, or it could be Whatever, like just it. This is an interesting one. we have a one third chance yeah, I was gonna say. and you're wrong. <laughs> We're wrong again. Okay, so now we have a 50% chance. So you want to do this instead of using up your hint coins now? Yep. <laughs> well, I actually do want to check it, see out where the hints are actually. 
The fact that there were three sheets of paper that there already when the doc added his to the pile means that he was the second person to place his documents on the desk. So there were already three, then he added his. Okay. So you're looking for the second set of documents from the bottom. So we were looking at the ones on the bottom, not the second ones from the bottom. Right, okay. So second from the bottom would be... Um, it'd be A. These two here, and then this one, that's the, the top one there, I think, is the scattered part, the page here. The second from the bottom, not second from I the think. top. That is second from the bottom. Is it? Well, that's what I assume. Well, I mean, because if this is the bottom, then this is the second from the bottom. That and one's part page. of C, isn't it? Is it? Uh... Let's see, there. Oh no, it is part of A, you're right. Yeah. I guess it could be part of C. Wait, this one... What does C look like? C is this one, and then it's also this one, wouldn't it be? Or like that. So this one or this one. So that would be C. What is A? A is on a the bottom over there. A would be this one, this one. Oh, actually, I think it's this one. It would be, so C, A would be this, this, and this one. Isn't it further along, or is that...? No, no, I think I was thinking that it was this one. I think it's this one. Okay. So that would be A. And then C was which one? Again? This one. I don't know, this, this, uh, this one. This one, this one. Okay. And then these ones, the top ones here. One, two, three, a D. Yeah, so I'm, I think it must be A. Okay. We'll have worse 50 50. Yeah. <laughs> this is an interesting one. Okay, there we go. Puzzles are made that was confusing. For me, at least. I don't think I understood the wording properly. Phew, better close the window next time. Yeah, we, we, we missed the wording where there were already three there, not the, the three that were already there were his. Yeah. There, Inspector Hastings, our little conundrum is all cleared up for you. Sensational, madame. Simply sensational. I know. <laughs> at last I can head back to the yard with me at Eldai and tell the inspector I solved it all in, all in my Todd. All in me Todd? All in me Todd? Hello, lady. Uh, what's it? Granny Smith or something? Granny Riddleton. <laughs> Granny Smith. <laughs> She's an apple. Dearie me, it's so late. It got so late. I was so busy chatting with the shop assistant, I completely lost track of time. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's it. Wait, was that a hint coin? No, okay, never mind. The manhole. What? Good evening, Doug. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Ah, uh, I forgot how to do it now off the top of my head. I don't know, just do whatever. I, I do I do um I, I, Irish. Oh, that's it. <laughs> well, hello there. What a co coincidence it is. Um, not really. The chief editor asked us to come to come. You see, and you work here. Really? I mean, I work here, of course. I know I work here, of course. Okay, this isn't working out. I'm just gonna go with whatever. Oh, I, I work feel here, like. of course. But the uh, chief <laughs> chief had asked you to do. <laughs> Interesting. I never heard anything about the case. A private eye to investigate investigating. Investigating. <laughs> Well, would you mind telling us where um, we can find him, please? Delighted to, I'm sure. Unsurprisingly, you might say, the editorial office where the boss m works on is on the top floor. Obviously. I don't know why he's asked for you, uh, but you know what we say here. Uh, where there's a latent, there's a story awaiting. Yes, well, thank you. I wonder what all this is about, then. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Yes, I'm interested. I don't even know what the case is about yet. When you said obviously, I was just thinking of Snape. Obvious, and you obviously. were unsuccessful. Obviously. Editorial office, the place where the busy journalists of London Times work on their stories. Dun dun. You didn't do the. This is, these are their stories. You didn't bum, do bum. the uh, pulls down um, sleeves. <laughs> 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 um. Gosh, so this is where it all happens. The editorial floor of the London Times. The forefront of the news. I hate the pages scattered everywhere. It's, it's making absolutely... me so frustrating. What a pig's eye. Yeah. This beats my messy desk hands down. It's not a competition, cat. I don't imagine anyone has a spare key for spare minute for tidying. They all look so busy. Yeah. Well, I wonder where the chief editor is then. Right in front of us, probably. Ah, I think that's probably the, probably him over there. I remember his face in the papers. Uh, all right then. Time to find out what sort of case he has for us. Oh. That isn't him. Was that? I think it is him. Um, nothing I've seen so far, apparently. There we go. 
Looks like this Chief Ed's person, uh, personal little library. Golly, these books aren't in any sort of order of all, at all. Some are even upside down. Oh god, it's awful. In touch with aliens, the lost civilization. I want to read almost every book here. Oh, coin? Yeah, definitely. There we go. So messy. It's like, surely there'd be like a billion hidden coins hidden. Oh, oh. Like scruff. Very nice, very nice. Coffee. Typewriter. I say, a genuine London Times typewriter. How jolly exciting. Think anyone would mind if I tried my poor at this? I feel like there's a story in me. <laughs> Someone's left a uh, half finished story in here. Look, I'm done. I'm finished. I can't write any more. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, garbage bin? <laughs> garbage man? Start uh, with the G. Uh, look at all these pictures. <laughs> garbage man start with the G. Uh, look at all these pictures of famous people. This must be the desk of someone involved in celebrity gossip. Gosh, what an amazing feat of balance this stack of papers is. I never thought I'd admit dogs were worse than cats, but this new Zan's desk is even more of a disgrace than yours, cat. Not oh, a poor cat. She's just trying her best. Well, not really, but... <laughs> okay, I think that think three hint coins is enough. Puzzle for us. Puzzle for us? Um, excuse me, are you the chief editor? That is him. Yes, yes, it's me. Tavares Lloyd at your service. How can I help you? I thought the guy, the, you know, the, the face of the case would have been the chief editor. I would have thought that as well. Oh no, don't tell me. You must be from the latent detective agency. Good, good. I'm glad you're here. What was his first name? Tavares? Tab Tavares, yeah. So like tabloid? Tab... Because his last name is Lloyd. Tavares Lloyd. Tabloid. I think that sounds yeah, about right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yes, hello, Mr. Lloyd. I'm Catrail Layton. This is my assistant, Ernest Greaves, and my trusty canine companion, Shell. So you're Catrail. Haha. <laughs> well, your name is hot on everyone's lips at the moment, seems. Uh, I had no idea you were such a young, beautiful woman, though. Oh, please stop. <laughs> oh, well, yes, people do say that about me. <laughs> that's right, Cat. It's all about being modest. <laughs> and that's not all they say about you. Apparently, you can solve any mystery. So I've prepared a little brain teaser to test you out. Will you give it a go? Will you? It's just one puzzle. Say you will. Broccoli. He's got broccoli hair. Ain't that right? He does. The Shape of Love. Uh, the sequel to... Blah, 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 the sequel to the best-selling novel, The Shape of Love, has hit the shelves. When the book's front cover is lined up in a certain way, it represents the title of the book. Uh, which of these five designs uh, is the front of the cover? Oh, I see. It's probably this one. So this is like the top parts of the heart, mm. and then this is the That's bottom. the bottom. But then how would you position it to make it look like it is? You could put a couple books together, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was thinking that. Oh yeah, so like when you place them, when you're like, when you're displaying them, mm. they look that way. So you could put, yeah. This is an interesting. Sorry, I just was a bit. <laughs> I was trying to think of like things about it, but I like came up with, um, shape of my heart and how deep is your love. How deep is your love? Yeah, so it's when you put them together, or display them, they yeah. look like hearts. How cute is that? Laying out four books at the corner uh, at the corners form a heart pattern. Now that's the shape of love. Now that's the shape of love. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, Peking Duck. Oh, yum. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Brilliant. I've tried for three days and nights to crack that one with no success. Dude, it's just, there's five options. Just guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, all, uh, well, all puzzles have an answer, Mr. Lloyd, just as all mysteries have an explanation. Well, that decides it. You're the woman for the job. You're the one who solved this mystery for me. Well, thanks for your vote of confidence, man. <laughs> That's you. Oh, sorry. Are you going to explain why you asked us to come down here then, Mr. Lloyd? Yes, yes, of course. Living in London as you do, you might have heard this name before, I'm sure. The power mass of justice. Justice. Ratman. Rat Oh, rat, sir. <laughs> who hasn't <Rather>. heard? <laughs> who hasn't heard of Ratman? Well, that's who I want you to investigate. Hmm. Okay, so we're trying to find out who Ratman is, probably. Ratman returns. <laughs> oh, like Batman returns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of Batman. Yes, Ratman. He came into the news not too, uh, not that long ago, didn't he? The masterous. Mysterious, mysterious superhero of London. 
London has superheroes. Now I've heard it all. Oh, Ratman is spiffing shell. Simply spiffing. I'm a huge fan. You and me both. <laughs> the power mouse of justice. Just hearing that gets the blood pumping, doesn't it? Sure, whatever you say. How did I know these two would hit it off? Hmm, well, like I said, I've heard of Ratman, but I don't know uh, much about him. Oh, I can tell you anything you need to know. He's a champion with his own with his own brand of justice for those low-life criminals selling our streets. Hmm, wow. <laughs> it was about a year ago that we first uh, that we had the first reports of his appearance. So does he not like rats? Is he, is he afraid of rats? Does he live in a rat? Does he have a rat rat cave? A rat meringue? <laughs> 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 what is it? <laughs> is that a rat cave? I'm trying to think of rat superheroes. There was there was there was the the rat in the no, not coming to my head. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, did you read the part? Yep. At the slightest whisper for help, Ratman appears out of nowhere, <laughs> pounds the bad guys into the ground, and shoots off into the night once more. Nobody knows his true identity because he's always appeared dressed as a rat. This music is grooving. It is grooving. So when they flash the beacon up in the sky, it's just a picture of Mickey Mouse? Or something? It's like the ears. Like oh! The ears. oh! <laughs> I gonna put it all! <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Josh does a better one than me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sensation. He's amazing. He's everything a superhero should be. Ratman Rat forever! forever! <laughs> he sounds like a K-pop fan. Ratman it's... forever! <laughs> <laughs> it's his secret identity that makes him so awfully eni uh, enigmatic, isn't it? So captivating. So swagger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just try to remember he dresses a, as a rat. Hmm? That's pretty swaggalicious, don't you think? <laughs> the problem is, he's disappeared. There have been no sightings reported for three months now. Hmm. Yes, I'd noticed uh, there have been no news articles about him recently. I was wondering why, it, as it happens. So we were. Uh, so were we. And here at the London Times, we've looked into it, believe you me. But as ever, the Pale Mouse is shrouded in mystery. Nobody knows where he's gone, or the reason for his disappearance. And now you'd like me to investigate? Yes, 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 exactly. Will you do it? Will you? <laughs> of course. The Legend Detective Agency motto isn't uh, any mystery solves for nothing, you know. Wonderful. You've practically solved it already. I'll bet. Uh, we'll find out the reason why our beloved superhero was gone AWOL in no time. Let's not jump the gun, Tabby. Does AWOL actually stand for something? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, away without, um, no, there's something. It, it does, <laughs> it does stand for something. Yeah. Uh, uh <laughs> there's Caesar. Perfect timing. Caesar? Caesar, Caesar Chance? chance. <laughs> Sees a chance over there as the owner of the publishing film, a firm that produces the London Times. He's got papers, magazines, books, anything in print you can think of. Sees a chance is the man who's pressed it. Oh, I love the names sometimes, they're so funny. People say he's got the country's media in the power of his hand. And, and he, he has. has. He's one of those so called seven dragons as well. Oh, you know? Ah, oh, yes. Really? He's one, of the dra he's one of the dragons? Hmm. Perhaps I should introduce myself in that case. Oh yes, you must. Although, he's not the most jovial of people, you might say. <laughs> Caesar Chance. His name is Caesar Chance. That's hilarious. Oh my god, he looks like... Good evening, Mr. Chance. Ah, so you're the private eye madam's always going on about these days, aren't you? Katria Layton. Hello. Uh, I believe we uh, both attended the premiere of No Sub for Love at the Sadly before. Oh yes, that farce. When the final scene of the film went missing. I hear you've been involved in a number of other cases since then. The rumours abound. Everyone else hack uh, anyone else hackles up yet? So Tab, uh, you're really going through with this private eye idea, aren't you? Uh, you just can't give up on Ratman, can you? I'll never give up on him. The public will never give up on him. He's the guardian of the night, the <laughs> paragon of peace. The power mouse of justice. <laughs> I think you have the most fun doing it. Doing oh, his absolutely! Thing. <laughs> it's so much fun. I don't know what all this fuss is about. Ah, oh, come on, Caesar! You're always so lukewarm on things. And you, 
Uh, always get hot under the collar tab. Ah, well, I can see that you two are obviously more than business colleagues. Have you been friends for long? Oh, me and Caesar go all the way back to senior school. <laughs> I never imagined we'd end up knowing each other as long as we had, though. And you've probably realised by now, Tab is a unique individual. He thrives on making others happy. While I make everyone depressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I gave him the job here. I knew he'd make a good editor, and I wasn't about to let the tabloids have him. Along with the news every morning, I aim to deliver a smile on the face of every <laughs> London Times read out there. I love you. <laughs> like you're using the finger guns and the... <laughs> oh, gosh. I've never seen chalk and cheese getting on so well together. Absolutely. Mm, cheese. No, we don't have... Uh, we don't want to keep you from investigation, Catriel. That would never do. No, no, no. Good luck finding out all you can about Ratman. I'll do my best. Yes, leave it to me, Mr. Lloyd. I'm sure I'll be able to find out the reason why he's no longer making appearances. The reason why doesn't matter. The fact is, he's gone. You'll be wasting your time, Miss Layton. How can you say that, Caesar? He doesn't see a chance. <laughs> God. Ratman is the powerhouse, the power mouse of justice, and always will be. He'll be back. You'll see. you will get a smacking again. For that, so, wait, so that for them jerks, what? So. Ratman okay. is the power mass of justice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and mitochondria. <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> Fine. If that's what you want to believe, Ugh. be my guest. Investigate till you're blue in the face. I'm so done with you already. As long as the sales don't drop, that's all I'm worried about. Well, I would love to ask you both a few more questions, um, if you can spare the time. Of course, I'll tell you anything you want to know. About Ratman, about the London Times, about my shoe size. If you believe that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm a size 10. I'm a size 10. Well, Tab might have that time for that nonsense, but I don't. Ah, oh, come on, Caesar. You can spare a lady a few minutes, surely? No. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Lloyd. So, Mr. Lloyd, uh, you've asked us to find out why Ratman seems to have disappeared. That's presumably because you idolise him and want your superhero champion back? Oh, yes, yes, of course. I mean, I am a diehard Ratman fan. I don't mind admitting it. They're called rat fans. Rat fans? Mm hmm. Um, but there is more to it than that. Oh? In what way? Well, Ratman artic articles proved very popular in the London Times. Whenever we featured a story about him, the copies flew off the shelves. So, Ratman's disappearance is affecting sales, you mean? See for yourself. It's not all roses, is it? So, it's true that Ratman's actions do have an impact on business, yeah. The other thing is safety on the streets. According to our reporters, since Ratman disappeared, crime's on the up. Oh no. I see. It sounds like a double-edged sword, doesn't it? It's not the paper sales so much as the people of London safety. We need Ratman on the streets. He must know that. I... I just don't understand why he's not showing himself. Hmm, I didn't realise Ratman had such an impact on the pa on paper sales. Oh, that's already a hint. Oh, I love it. I love it. This looks like a little pizza. A little bit pizza, of cake. pizza. Oh, yeah, little, oh, oh, pizza. Or, or I thought cheese as well. A little piece of cheese on the side. <laughs> or it could be like one of those little uh, wheels in um, Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> yeah, the little pieces. Uh, newspapers and magazines featuring Ratman articles sell like hotcakes. So since Ratman's mm. disappearance three months ago, sales have suffered. Uh, click plus, there we go. And Mr. Chance? Mr. Caesar? <laughs> Would you mind telling us what you know about Ratman, Mr. Chance? Alright. Nothing. Oh, yes, I'm definitely getting the impression that you're not one of uh, Ratman's biggest fans. Obviously, Ratman was a big deal for London. It wasn't only the paper that we featured him in. Uh, we did exclusive features in some of our other magazines as well. Ratman's flavour of the month, and I'm grateful what he's done for it for what he's done for us. Uh, but people will get bored of him. If it's all Ratman, 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 he'll lose his appeal. Mm. Oh yes, I know exactly. Uh, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. You can't eat the same meal every day, no matter how delicious it is. We should forget Ratman. We should be looking for new news, not old news. We can eat the same meal I was about every to day. say, we, like, we eat like, the, the old time. time. Yes, exactly. You probably like, the same thing as I did in my mouth. <laughs> that's because we know. Because we eat this all the time. Uh, uh, that's you Seriously, it. Tab, how long are you going to keep pursuing this childish superhero nonsense? No. I mean, it's probably him because he's rich. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't spoil it yet. <laughs> there you go. Caesar, Ratman is a nonsense. He's hip. He's cool. He's wicked. He's sick. <laughs> He's sick. <sighs> you sound like a child. We're not kids anymore, Tab. For heaven's sakes, we're parents. Parents can still be into superheroes. Yeah, look at the Marvel fan base. Are they saying that their parents together? Do they have kids? <laughs> well, they might be. <laughs> Please continue. Uh, in, in fact, parents need superheroes more than anyone. They just aren't enough hours in the day. They really are the log uh, loggerheads over this, aren't they? They've clearly been friends for a long time, though. Uh, I'm sure most of it's just banter. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Chance, for your time. Uh, yes, I think we should uh, take ourselves out onto the street now. And start, uh, onto the streets. And start asking questions out there. So Let Mystery Journey us, to the streets. <laughs> Step it up. <laughs> step up. I, was, I was trying to do step <laughs> yeah. up. We'll push on with our investigation. <laughs> yes, yes, brilliant. Go and do what you do, detective. Answer Ratman Riddle. Ratman Riddle? <laughs> Waste your time if you want to. You won't learn a thing. Well, thanks for your faith in me, mate. I will I will inquire about Ratman. Ratman. Uh, so what, uh, so what are we really hoping to find out about Ratman here? Who is he, first of all? And why does he do all this superhero stuff? That's the point, Shell. Nobody knows. It's all a big mystery. He only ever appears wearing his trademark Ratman suit, so nobody can tell who he really, who he really is. Why, you're right. It's bad enough having to be a dog. You'd think he'd want uh, recognition for all the good deed he deeds he's done. Perhaps he's extremely self-conscious? Wouldn't you be more self-conscious dressing up in an outfit like that? Oh, a rule to that! To that. <laughs> a rule to that! Well, anyway, seeing as we don't know anything about him, I suppose we should start by asking around if anybody's actually seen him. It sounds as if uh, he was making fairly regular appearances re until recently, so we stand a good chance of finding someone who's seen, um, who's seen him. Very good, Miss Layton. I'll ask some passers-by. The same people out is the same people outside. Yep. Well, I'm sure Miss Granny, Miss Ch Miss Chatterbox has seen them. Oh dearie me, you are busy bodies, aren't you? Now, what are you up to today? Hmm? Another case, is it? The old gossip. Her curiosity could kill her, a cat. Ah, well, we're actually investigating Ratman at the moment. Dear me, whatever next, Ratman, you say? I don't suppose you know his true identity by any chance. <laughs> <laughs> sure, she loves cat. She probably knows how to make a perpetual motion work too. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. I only know what I've uh, read in the papers. I see. Uh, but you sound like you're a fan anyway. Oh, well, it's hard not to be. I mean, it's such a juicy story, isn't it? Uh, someone must know who that mysterious hero is. I always made a point of reading the special features they did on him in London Times. In the London Times. Oh, I didn't realise you were a Times reader, Mrs. Riddle Riddleton. Well, she's right outside the thing, so maybe she is. Uh, oh, dear me, yes. I read, I read lots of papers. I'll have you know, young man. But I do enjoy the London Times especially. They always uh always lots of juicy tidbit titbits everywhere in in there. Celebrity romance, strange creatures sightings. Oh, we keep it's what keeps me going. Yes, I quite understand. There was a uh there was magazines by the same publisher that had uh, uh had a feature on Ratman as well. I snapped it up, I tell ya. Oh, I do hope uh they keep coming with all the, those delightful stories. Haha. -ha. Interesting. I'm just walking to the beat one more time before heading back to the yard. Okay, and then Mr. Douglas Street, I guess. Oh, good evening again, Douglas. I'm gathering information for a story, are you? Hello again, as it appears. I've finished my interviews now. As it happens. It uh, happens. <laughs> I've finished my interviews now and I'm just on my way back to the office. Office. <laughs> Did you find the boss? Have you had a, uh, have a good gander there. at the paper strewn out? Oval? Novel. Hovel? Hovel. 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 We call an office, did you? <laughs> I yes. forgot how to do an Irish yeah. accent. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, we spoke to uh, Mr. Lloyd. I was about to do Catriel's in an Irish accent. Uh, he asked us to investigate the current whereabouts of Ratman. Ah, so that is game, is it? You know, uh, it was your, yours truly in charge of the Ratman stories when he was still about. A boot. So, you mean you've met him then? You've met Ratman? Of course I have, dozens of times. Although, that being said, he is an elusive fellow who slips away as soon as he's done with his work. So meeting him takes him done. 
Wow, dozens of times? That's simply spiffing. Spiffing? <laughs> I can't very well write stories about something I haven't seen that, can I? So wherever Ratman uh, shows his tail, old Dougie's on the capture in the tail. Gosh, you're just like a superhero too, Mr. Dirt. A rhyming one. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, lad. I'm the one who gets it out to the public. I Unless it's like a Spider-Man thing and he's the rat man. <laughs> I, st I stop crimes by... Oh yeah, I stop crimes with my rhymes. Uh, except of course that red man no longer seems to be around. So he stops crimes with his rhymes. And then goes... To the London Times. To the London Times, yep. <laughs> except that indeed, miss. London without rats just ain't London. Of course, we conducted our own investigations into the disappearance of our rodent friend. But we turned up nothing. Diddly squat. Diddly squat. Yes, because he's so elusive. Such a mysterious crusader. But I've no fear, the people of London's voices won't fall on deaf ears. The rat will be back. Hmm, an elusive hero making unexpected appearances. Is Ratman just, um, Remy controlling someone's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, using their head to control their body to save, to stop crimes? I thought you could only do that on, um, <laughs> um Linguini. Linguini. Uh, Ratman appears out of nowhere to save the day, then disappears into the ether. Into the... Yeah? Yep, that's ether. right. <laughs> I just didn't expect that word, you know? I use it all the time. Uh, no, no, I, I know. I know what ether is, but I just didn't expect that to be in this context. Uh, much like reporter Douglas Dirt, who covers the superhero's antics. I thought Oops. it was usually spelled A-E-T-H-E-R. Oh. Mm. When I read ether, I think of, like, you know, RPG stuff. Ether's actually a, uh... A Greek entity. Oh. It, I have classes, you know. It's a certain high. It's a red sludge. Someone called it a stone. <laughs> uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually uh, very high up air. Um, I think around where the gods are. Very nice. Okay. So because it's so high to disappear, it's like thinner. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Things seem to have found out much of any use about Ratman, do we? Thanks for the education. It's all good. <laughs> uh, now it's hard when you're trying to find out about someone who does the utmost to be to remain a mystery. I thought cats were experts at catching rodents. Ha ha ha. Very amusing show. I think uh, perhaps we need to broaden our area. Let's in interview some people further afield. I'll replace my pet dog with a more useful cat as a last resort. <laughs> Shame on Shell. Ooh, we're really uh, broadening our field. What's that oh. area over here? It's, oh, guild hall. Oh. I thought it looked familiar. I, I thought that too. The block of, you know... Gosh, there's still a lot of people around the guild hall this time, aren't there? Uh, it's all the office uh, workers. Oh wait, it's all the office workers heading home after a day's work. I think, Ernest. Let's ask as many people as we can if they uh, know anything about Ratman. Is uh, Miss, what's her name again? Miss Tate. Excuse me, Hessey. Uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, but have you heard of Ratman? Oh, um, Ratman. Uh, yes, I have. I think. Yes, I read about him um in the um paper. Ah, oh, see, so, uh, don't you know much else about them? About him, then? No, um, not really. Obviously, uh, as a public servant, I, uh, I want to learn about his, uh, from his example. Um, I mean, you know, helping the people of, Lo um, London. You mean you're the sort of person who's... You mean you're the sort of person who's quick to step in and lend a hand when members of the public are, are, are in trouble? Oh, well, um, no. I mean, I was thinking I should start, um, bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> Body? Building? I am... Um... But she's so small. It's not a question of physical strength. Uh, you're perfectly capable of helping people as you are, I'm sure. Oh, now um, you do it, girl. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know. I... Uh, if you don't have the strength, you, uh, you need speed, and, um, well... Oh. <laughs> Give me a puzzle, someone. I haven't done any puzzles this, uh, this, this stream yet. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you could help us, uh, help us. Have you ever seen Ratman? Ratman. If by seen you mean been helped by open bracket... Not that, Not that I'm boasting. <laughs> Close bracket. Then yes. Why? <laughs> you mean Ratman actually appeared to rescue you once? Bingo. Tell us about it, please. Oh well, it was about three months ago now. I think I'd gone down to Bolin Hill. Bolin Hill. There's this little cinema down there where they were showing the old Maverick director film. I wanted to see. Open bracket. That was not one of his best. Close bracket. <laughs> Some idiot showed up and got and tried to get me to give him money. Wow. Golly, what did you do? I said no, of course. But they were real toads. They started to get rough and then 
Dun 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 Yep, he gave them a taste of their own medicine, which gave me time to run away. Oh, so you don't know what happens after that, uh, that then? With Rat Man, I mean. No, I I laid it out of there as fast as I could. I suppose I should have said thank you, really. Oh, oh well. well. So that was in Bolam Hill, you say? That's right, that's what I said. Apparently he pops up there a lot. Hmm. Yes, I've heard that Bolam Hill isn't the nicest part of town. Lots of petty crime there, they say. Yep, I'm not going anywhere near that place ever again. If you end up going there, you you want to be very careful. Thank you for the warning uh, and the very helpful information. So Ratman often appears in Bolan Hill, does he? Yes, that's useful to know. Uh, they could there could very well be another uh, other people who know, who've met him. Let's head that way now and see what we can find out. Okay, first I'll go talk to Benny, because I assume he has a puzzle. Some Poponos. So, a Poponos puzzle? Hello, I have brand new puzzle just for you, fresh today. A puzzle? Wonderful. Ha, ah, why is it so easy to do business with puzzles, but so hard with Poponos? Oh well, uh, the wishes of customers must come uh, come first. Here is your puzzle. Thank you, Benny. Benny Poponos. The question of sport. So, there are pictures stuck... Uh... Stuck up that represents success and failure in two different sports. The picture on the left shows success, and the picture on the right shows failure. Uh, each of the sports are viewed from the side in the same location. The pictures at the top represent football, but which sport is represented by the pictures at the bottom? Uh, Golf. So success and failure. Is it a golf question again? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's golf because you either have hit the ball or you haven't hit the ball. Because uh -huh. it's on the side, so the ball is probably in the hole on the left side. And on the right side, it's not in a hole. Yeah, I getcha. So it's just a very close-up photo of the um, the golf ball mm -hmm. as well. And golf. Because that's like the ball there, yep. so then... Okay, we'll see. This should do it, I think. Yep. Good job. Puzzles are made Good stuff. <laughs> hole in one. Uh, when you're successful at golf, the ball's in the hole. Yep. Ball's in the hole. Thank you, Benny. Well, that was a really fun puzzle. Thank you. Uh, I hope you offer, offer us more of them in the future. I don't know why I struggled there. I want to offer Papanos, really. Not puzzles, but okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode right here anyway. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll find out who Ratman is soon enough. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, and uh, you can subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs>